What's going on guys? It's JD with JD's Raps. Got another video here. It's been a minute. Uh, I'm trying to remember what the last video was. I think it was the KPK Matt, Matt Black Cybertruck. Um, amazing result. I've been working in between time, but I usually like to save the videos for something that is, um, you know, a little bit more stand out or maybe something that I haven't done before or something that I think is, uh, is worthy of posting things that uh, you guys would be interested in. So. That's what we've got here. So just finished this one up. Literally this morning I had to wrap the mirrors, which was the last thing that I had to do, and then put a couple things back together. And we've got this one totally completed. Um, what we're working with this week is a brand new film, I think we can call it that, uh, from KPMF. So basically they have always had dynamic line, a matte dynamic line, and I think this is one that's actually produced by Metro Restyling. I think they call it Metro Dynamic Lime, if I'm not mistaken. But they've had that film as long as I've been installing, so for at least the last four years. And then I think Metro released Gloss Dynamic Lime sometime this year. And so I ordered a roll of that, and they reached out and they said that KPMF has upgraded the Dynamic Lime to their new High Gloss Dynamic Lime. Now, I hadn't really been following KPMF's trans transition from gloss to high gloss, so I didn't really know anything about their films. I had heard something about them putting out an unscratchable black film, but I didn't look too much into it. I don't do a ton of gloss black installs. Um, so I kind of fell into this one. I didn't really go out of my way to use this film necessarily, but I gave the client an option. Uh, they were interested in paying a little bit of extra money, which we'll talk about, and we went with it. So. This video is gonna be a two-parter, or not a two-parter, It's gonna we're just gonna go over two things. I wanna talk about the, um, the film, I wanna give my review on the film and kinda of talk about some of that, and then I'll take you in close and show you the car. Uh, this is a pretty sick wrap. We also did a brushed black chrome delete on it, which was, was pretty cool as well. Got the wheels powder coated in satin black. Um, so this one got the full kinda of new car thing. But let's talk about the film. So here's a piece of it. And again, this is KPMF High Gloss Dynamic Line. So the first thing that you'll notice about this film that makes it different from regular KPMF is that it has a cap sheet. And this is an uninstallable cap sheet. And basically what I mean by that is you're probably not gonna be doing the install with this on. Uh, maybe on some flat panels to get it started. I've seen people do that with a nose attack. You know, yeah, you could probably do that if you want. I don't necessarily love the idea of pulling off the plastic when I'm in the work environment, just because it generates a shitload of static. So I just, I don't like the idea of doing that when I'm working. So I peeled it off when I was actually cutting the panels. But I'll kind of give you an idea of what this looks like. Um, show you the film kind of in the sun. Hopefully you can kind of see this. But yeah, the cap sheet is um, very similar to China. Chinese vinyl uh, calendar film cap sheet. If you've ever worked with that, a nose attack, tech wrap, etc. Um, yeah, so that's that. See the film? Film's pretty amazing. I'm not gonna lie. Um, the reflection on it, it, it's it's good. You know, the light when when I have my LEDs on it. Um, I guess we can kind of let's just take a look real quick. All right, so. Under the LED light, let's see if we can, yeah, there we go. Okay, so give you an idea of the reflection. You can still see if you're like really looking for it, there's some slight orange peel. You can kind of see as I go up and down, there's some slight orange peel. Um, but when you get out in the sun, I mean, this, this is going to rival any Anosa Tech or um, Tech Wrap install. And it could just be that because this is super metallic-y that it looks that way, but you definitely notice a difference between this and the old KPMF gloss, um, which, which wasn't very good. Just all in all, not a great, uh, it's probably the worst gloss out of any cast film. So that is the cap sheet, um, essentially, I want to talk about installing it. Um, you'll also notice that it has a PET liner. So this has like that plastic, poly, it's got some name, but it's got the PET liner as well. So no more paper. 
Um, you can see the metallic backing. Now, I'll just kind of go through the pros and cons as we're talking about the film. Essentially, the, the, with this top sheet and this PET liner, you have two things happen. One, you get a lot of static, um, and you have a lot of waste as well. I, I don't love the idea of having a bunch of thick plastic that has to be thrown away. It seems like they could, they could kind of do it a different way because now you have twice as much waste and vinyl wraps are already super wasteful. So I'm not a huge fan of that. And I don't like that it's a rigid cap sheet. If 3M can create a cast film that has a pliable cap sheet that can be installed, why don't the other companies? That's clearly the best option. Right, because then you can install it, zero scratches, you don't have to worry about it, um, and it's just easier to work with. So the static is not cool, you know, that's, that's what increases the likelihood of bringing in debris, um, but that's kind of it as well. The, the major consequence, however, is that this shit is tacky. It's super sticky now. And KPMF can get super sticky if you're in a hot environment, but I was working in a 70 degree environment, and it just, it sticks like, Chinese vinyl now, like tech wrap. Um, it just it's, it grips really hard. So the problem with that as a solo installer, and you guys in the shop with three or four people and two extra sets of hands, etc., you're probably not going to have these issues. But with a solo installer, is every time you're having to grab that film and pull it off and whatnot, you're going to you're going to increase the likelihood of two things: adhesive lines and debris. Uh, there's just no two ways around it. The debris comes from lifting up the film; it gets in there, etc. Um, so, and, and it seems like that, that just happens with any gloss wrap. Gloss wraps are harder to get clean than satin and matte because they tend to be a little bit tackier, but this stuff is super tacky. So, um, I wasn't able to find a tack reducer that really did anything. I was using Ape Solution, which is kind of like a PPF gel that I lightly wipe on there. That normally helps. It didn't really help at all. I tried using the Triple S stuff. It didn't really do anything. So this stuff is super tacky. So keep that in mind. Um, the other thing is that the surface is super tacky as well. So even when I would wipe the surface down, I tried to do one panel where I put masking tape on the film, and as I peeled up the masking tape, it left a bunch of tiny little dots and weird blue lines. Now, they ended up going away over the next couple days, but it was, it was not ideal. So literally what I was doing is when I had to use tape, I would cut pieces of the film and use this as tape. So like if I had to cut on a panel, because when I was peeling this off, it wasn't causing any damage to the other panels. So I'd be careful about using any type of tape on the film. Um, what else? As far as the install, other than it being tacky, it pretty much installs like KPMF gloss film. There, there wasn't a major difference there. Um, it does seem like it overstretches a little easier and it's a lot, it takes a lot more heat. Like when we were doing the bumpers, it's, it, it really felt like using that thicker kind of calendar vinyl. Um, so it's a bump up in difficulty in install. And yeah, mind you, it's my first time installing it, but it, I have a feeling that just it, for most people, it's gonna, it's gonna be a little bit harder to install as cleanly as you do the other film. Um, but yeah, other than that, pretty cool film. It looks great. Um, something that was amazing is I never once had an issue with scratches. And if you've installed other KPMF film, it scratches if you look at it. So that's kind of one thing that I really liked about this. Um, you're not seeing those like spider web scratches or those squeegee scratches and anything that I did get for the most part heated out. So I was really impressed by that. I think that they've kind of done something with the surface to make it a little bit uh, less scratch prone. So that was pretty sweet. And it just looks great. When you get it outside, it just looks, it looks phenomenal. Uh, it seems to be holding up really good, the corners and everything like that. There's not a lot of bottle capping. Um, pretty much once stuff is down, it seems like it's, it's been staying down. I've had it for the last two days sitting because I had to do chrome delete. So, or one day. And yeah, I'm just, I'm beyond happy with it. You know, it's, um, it, it gets these weird glue lines and they're not like vinyl glue lines. They're almost like PPF glue lines. And what I mean by that is they're very subtle. Like you have to almost kind of be like looking at the right angle. So I guess that's a good thing. And I would imagine that most of them are gonna go away. Um, 
just because those other ones went away when I put the tape on there. So I, I have a feeling this is going to be a pretty resilient film. I have a feeling it's going to be pretty easy to take care of as well because it, it feels like PPF. The surface is very rubbery. It's almost like it feels like Flexi Shield uh, dry install PPF, which is kind of interesting. So I wonder what they did. They probably totally reformulated it, but um, it feels different. It feels pretty nice. It looks great. I'm super happy with how it turned out. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this. It is $300 more approximately. I think this was $1,100 a roll as opposed to around $700 a roll for KPMF. Still standard 75 feet. Um, yeah, I'd say really inspect your, your roll if you guys are going to get some of this because there was some things going on. I had some holes, had some things kind of embedded in the film. Um, I was able to work around it for the most part. Still achieve an amazing result, but definitely look at your film and that just goes without saying. But other than that, let's dive in and I'll take you guys in close and we'll see what we did here. All right, guys, let's dive in deep. KPMF high gloss dynamic lime. Wheels powder coated in satin black vinyl. The lights were already done. It looks like dark PPF. And then 3M brushed black. Let's take a look at the reflection. Pretty good reflection. But you can see it's a little orange peely still, but pretty solid reflection. This car's five years old, so you're gonna see some pits. See that brushed material in the sun? Pretty beautiful. Did my best to line everything up on the mirrors, which was a challenge, as you can imagine. Just looks so sick paired with this uh, green. Look at our details. As always, nice clean lines. Make sure to wrap to hide all that white. One piece trunk, which was a pain. Wrap all in here. It's not lifting, it's bad paint. It's so clean. Went in super deep in here. Hide all the white. Let's just look at this gloss in the sun. As you can see, no scratches. Client's gonna be super happy, pretty excited. Thanks again for all of you for following. If you have any questions about wraps in Arizona, wraps in general, make sure to reach out to me. Otherwise, thanks for your continued support. It's a cool view right there.